Welcome to your Go Market Update. Charts of the day for today is the 31st of January. I hope you're well today. Uh, we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Let's have a look at what's come across the news. Of course, overnight we saw US equities close mixed. The Dow was the only major index in positive territory after what's been a really stellar January so far. Uh, this week is an important week and perhaps we've seen a little bit of risk coming off the table. We've got big earnings. We've got the US jobs data with non farm payrolls in Friday. And of course, the Federal Reserve are going to announce their interest rate decision. Now, these will all dictate sentiment going forward. It's interesting to see earnings come across last night. We had Microsoft and Google both after the bell, both of which beat expectations, but the market has sold off a little bit in after hours trading, suggesting that perhaps there is a feeling that. The big moves up in big tech put them at what is a reasonable valuation right now. And so the expectation is that we'll get an earnings beat and anything less than that will get punished significantly. So that has impacted on US futures in Asian trading. Uh, Asian markets are generally weaker following that US lead, with the exception of the ASX, which is up around about 0.15% after we had softer than expected inflation data released earlier today. European futures are pointing to a cautious open this afternoon again, expected to follow that slightly weak US lead. US dollar is still around resistance, just beneath that 200 EMA, waiting for the action to occur tonight, one would suspect. Despite that, we saw both gold and copper gaining. Gold traded above 2030, around about 2036 in a choppy session. But it's at two week highs right now on copper, gained and moved back to test monthly highs. Oil has also edged higher again and is testing that 200 EMA that we referenced earlier in the week. Bitcoin moved higher for the fourth straight day, but software in Asia so far. And earnings continue to be in focus, of course. We'll get the response to those big tech earnings tonight, but there's more to follow. And we've got German CPI jobs and retail sales out. This afternoon, we've got US ADP jobs report later on. And of course, we've got Canadian GDP also due. Plenty for the markets to digest today and over the coming 48 hours. A couple of charts of core RI today. If we look at the Australian dollar yen, you can see that continued sell off down to this key level at around about 96.94. So a breach of 97 would be significant, which is testing right now. Obviously, this is on the back of that softer inflation data combined with some yen strength. Uh, just to put this into context, let's have a look at the four hour chart. And you can see this corresponds with the 200 MA on the four hour chart and significant price action previously uh, during the course of the month. The breach of that level could see us down to perhaps even test around about 96.50. So around about 50 pips down from where we are now. So want to keep an eye throughout the day. On the ASX, construction stocks looking strong again. We can see CSR here is having a good day after a small retracement. We did have this pause at around about $7. So we're looking at this for a potential trend continuation. See where this closes at the back end of the session. Still a little bit of work to do today and may actually be sort of Thursday or Friday once it breaches $7, but one would certainly keep on the radar. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.